The Building and Construction Authority says investments into robotics are leading the way for the sector to make structural improvements to workflow. Demand is set to grow in the next few years with up to 53 billion Singapore dollars in contracts expected to be awarded this year. CNA's Alexander Anand speaks to the CEO of the statutory board to find out how the industry is evolving. We're anticipating strong construction demand this year. How is the sector planning on overcoming the existing strain on manpower as well as resources? In a short five years time frame, we have actually come out from a COVID crisis to now a strong demand. And actually, in bad times in the crisis, it's very difficult for firms to invest. Mm -hmm. uh, they will all be focusing on survival. Uh, but right at, at this moment, the initial forecast of four years of uh, strong demand is actually a huge opportunity mm -hmm. for firms to say that, hey, with, with that likelihood of good projects coming in, they can invest. Mm -hmm. um, and we need to invest because without changing the way um, the industry construct and build and, and design, um, we will not be able to keep on you know, building you know, uh, the, the projects in the, in the years to come because we won't have enough space uh, to accommodate all the workforce that we, we need mm. without changing. Advanced construction technologies are increasingly playing a bigger role in how buildings are designed and made. But how widespread is their adoption at this stage? In the last 12 months, we saw the introduction of about, about 20 plus different robotic solutions deployed over 50 oversights in Singapore uh, and carried out by 50 companies. Mm. Uh, and these robots include uh, robots that actually transport materials from place to place and at night when you know, no heavy uh, work, work is being done, uh, to painting robots, to concrete finishing robots. Um, and all this actually allow the firms to actually you know, deploy their workers to actually higher value, more difficult work and actually allow one operator to manage uh, many different uh, machines. And when it comes to the architects, we are also seeing more deployment of artificial intelligence. What are some of the challenges to actually integrate them into the workflow? Because I understand it will require some adjustments. Do you see that the sector is ready to embrace that, mm. that shift? When we start to push the adoption of these robots, we start to realise that actually to, to the companies, it's not about replacing one worker with a robot because no single robot can actually replace any one job entirely. Then the subcontractor will be resistant to say that actually, rather than keeping my worker free with nothing to do, mm. why do I bother investing in the equipment? Right? So it does require a process change. It does require the main contractor to actually work very closely with the different subcontractors that they have and really review where are the opportunities where equipment can be deployed and robots can be deployed and how can the different subcontractors kind of look at their processes, uh, redesign the processes and actually maybe together as a consortium do more jobs. From robotics to fostering greater collaboration, all these changes, what do you think it could mean for Singapore's development? Construction as a sector globally is one of the uh, sectors with some of the lowest productivity. Mm -hmm. And as a result, it's not very attractive to young talents. Mm -hmm. As a city, state, um, as, you know, as we have to develop more and more projects in a denser environment, mm -hmm. it's actually going to be more complex. Um, with some of these changes that we're introducing, whether it's in terms of AI, robots, sustainability, sustainable development, um, and collaborative contracting. Actually, it sets ourselves up to really transform the sector, mm. uh, to enable us to take on more exciting, challenging projects, and at the same time, transform the jobs that actually will really inspire the young people that, hey, this sector is not only able to build a city like Singapore and make it ready for the future, but also one that can demonstrate to the rest of the world what it means as far as sustainable development is concerned.